Hey, can I title this video? This sucks. That's the title. Or fight to the finish. One of the two. Holy smokes. Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, good morning. So we are under the Rogator. And we have a bad hose. Pretty sure it's just because it's rusted so bad and it's just puking out right here. So, anyway, fun part about this hose is it goes all the way back to like here. So it's a long hose, but we got to get it off of the cooler first. So that's at the bottom of the cooler, runs all the way back to the filter housing. Pretty sure it's one of the hoses for like the drive system, the wheels and the rest of the machine. The box, spreader box, kind of has its own separator or separate hydraulic system. So anyway, let's go see what will actually come apart. Brake, twist, this might be interesting. Oh yeah. Well, it broke loose, but ooh. Well, it broke loose. I just broke the pipe. Wondered if that was gonna happen. Okay, well, we ended up draining the oil out of the tank. And why do they always have to put stuff right in your way? Why can't they just like... Oh. And the nuts are rusted up. We're gonna need some heat. This way. Oh, that was really bright. Holy smokes. <laughs> well, I got some leaks on this oil cooler that runs just this is separate hydraulic system from what Tim is working on. So this is just ran off a hydraulic pump on the PTO pump style, something like that. But we got a leak there, a leak there. So we gotta disassemble everything. Hopefully we just put new O-rings in them. I don't know, maybe we're looking at a new cooler too. We'll see. Oh yeah, cool. So I put a new O-ring on. I also turned this jam nut back a turn. Hopefully I can get this one round tighter. I'm gonna get that jam nut a little tighter. We have to also do this one over here. So I guess I'll just keep breaking stuff down to get to that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's uh oh I'm not really sure how much force I wanna put on this thing. Uh-oh. Hmm. We might have to heat that. Think this is why that O-ring's leaking? Yeah, you might. <laughs> I can't get a wrench in there though to... Oh, you gotta take your... You gotta take everything off. apart to retighten that one. 500 foot-pounds of torque on it, won't break it loose.
something moved, but I'm not sure what it was. Yes. Almost out of there. Wow. <laughs> Lifted the legs, right? Right. Ooh. It moved in the right spot, didn't it? Yeah, as far as I can tell. I just really want to know how long you've been fighting us before I just step in and just oh. zooms away. Tim strength. <laughs> I think it is. It quit moving now. Poof down. Let me put some more PB blaster in there, maybe, huh? <laughs> All right, put her back together now. All right, I gotta show you guys this. See how pitted and rusted that is? Why can't people ever wash something? Came from a co op and. The Carolinas originally, I think. And a few auctions later, I ended up with it. And we're gonna fix it right. God, my beard's getting white. We're gonna fix it half right. We're just gonna fix leaks and not just look at them. Well, in between taking care of Tony's projects for him and doing all his heavy lifting. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. I finally managed to get that thing out. I had to take it directly out of the block which is above the filter. So flip flopping that around was not a whole lot of fun, but now that we have it out, I can get it in the vise and get some real pressure on it. Maybe some heat too. I'm gonna go with assuming heat. Nothing like some good leverage, right? Hey, can I title this video? This sucks. That's the title. <laughs> or fight to the finish. One of the two. Holy smokes. Wow. That's flat faced Oreg in there. And dirt and junk and cannot believe that end wasn't leaking. Well, it's all back together. This piece is a little bit too short, so it kind of puts some strain on some stuff. I don't know, we'll see. We, I didn't over tighten these just to see how tight they needed to be, but we'll see. It does look better than it did before. New O-rings, guess we'll see how it works. We'll get oil back in it. All right, I gotta go load up a load of alfalfa bales over at the West Bay. Well, good morning, everyone. Happy April Fool's Day. April 1st today. So, I quit. I'm done. Just kidding. Back on this. So, Friday, I went and got a new hose in, put on the big hose that goes up to the cooler in the front, runs all the way back to the center of the machine of the spreader. Also, when I was working on that, I broke that and off it, it was just so rusted off so that was a small hose just got a new hose for that had to put that back on then i think we can fill it with oil and test stuff so yeah friday i had to take off early we um because we sell the milk from our cows we had to do a brucellosis test on our cows so um i had to haul them in thanks to tony for letting me use the 08 and the stock trailer Got those hauled into the vet, and while we were there for an extra whole $10 per cow, we got ultrasounds. And we have two pregnant cows. So, that's pretty cool. One should be due first part of July, 
and the other is due at the end of July. So that was some pretty cool news. Back to work on this guy. See what we can uh, accomplish to get this thing out of here. Like I said, today is April 1st, Thursday, Friday, Saturday's forecast. High of 69 degrees for three days in a row. Things are gonna start changing pretty quick. We're gonna have a lot to get done. I know there's still some seed to clean and there's still the small air seeder sitting out here. That needs to be finished up. And uh, it's kind of hard to think about seeding because there's a ton of snow on the ground yet and the ground still froze. But that's gotta melt, then it's gotta dry, then we can get to the field. Just that easy. Well, this is the speed sensor for the belt that brings the fertilizer back for the spreaders here to spread it. And it's missing this bolt. This bolt uh, is like 30 bucks online. All it is is a 5 8 bolt. The hole drilled in it so that this can go into it and a hole for a set screw. So let's go spend an hour of my time, which is probably worth more than 25 bucks. But I might be able to get this thing to run today if I can get one of these built. At least we'll know what else we need to fix them. be too long of a bolt actually. I actually had to cut that off. Well I got the bolt in there threw a lock nut on the back of it for a little extra grab so you don't lose it and everything looks pretty good. Tighten up the set screw maybe I think we're good to go. Okay I got all the hoses I took off which was this one, this one, because I needed space to get this out, which is the one that we replaced the end on. Have all them back in. And uh, not really sure why that flat face fitting just rusted off of there. Not really sure why that wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> There's your problem. <laughs> Breathing too much. <laughs> too much oxygen. Start it up. Everything seems to be holding oil right now. No oil puking out of it. So that's a good thing. The cooler on the front was empty. I had it filled to about here on the site the last and it dropped, which is to be expected. So, I think we're good. Get it outside, start getting some uh, satellite signal going through it. We can test the back end and see if the spinners work. All that fun stuff. Well, we are a few steps closer to getting this thing ready to go. Um, pretty much the major oil leaks are fixed. There's an air leak yet on the cow suspension. And we don't have GPS to the Raven Viper Pro. Yeah, Viper Pro. Um, not sure if it's comm settings or if we have a bad antenna or what's going on there. Also, our feed belt in the bottom of the hopper is creeping a little bit. So we got a few more things to work on yet. We'll see if we can't get some answers on what's going on there. And then, uh, yeah, it should be good enough to go for the year, I hope. Not really sure. We'll see how much we use it and uh, how that all goes. But thanks for watching. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder, and we'll see you next video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. And don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. See you next video.